my chicken that I crusted with coriander, and I'm getting my cauliflower, a whole head cut into little florets. Look at my little baby cauliflowers, little bite-sized pieces. Look, they fit comfortably into my mouth. I'm going to blanch them. That's how I roll with vegetables. I'm not a huge fan of boneless, skinless chicken breasts. So we're using bone-in, skin-on chicken breasts. I'm going to crust them with some coriander seeds. Mm. I've toasted about two tablespoons of these little guys. I'm going to uh, grind them up and then give them a little sprinky dink on my chicken, brown them, and then nestle them in uh, a dish and toss the whole thing in the oven with my cauliflower, put together ahead of time, and toss it in the oven a little later on. Perfect for an entertaining dish also. It's getting this all ground up to a lovely powder, a little dust. Coriander seeds are one of my favorite spices. You know, like I always buy them and toast them and grind them myself. It makes a huge, huge, huge flavor difference. So let's see what we've got going on here. They really have mm, such sort of a like a citrusy, lemony, bright flavor. And it's actually if you planted coriander seeds, they grow up to be cilantro. Huh. Who knew? Okay. Mm. All right, so nice salt on the outside. So I'm gonna brown these. I probably have to do this in batches. I do not want to crowd my pan because that will prevent my chicken skin from getting nice and crispy and it will be limp and soggy and that's not delicious. I ground my coriander to a really fine powder. This is gonna be a great little flavor addition. Skin side down first. Yes, there we go. All right. Let's go ahead and salt and coriander. All right. Then I'm going to pull those out of the pan and do the other couple chickens. All right. So cauliflower is hammered. So I look at nice and soft. Oh, yeah, perfect. Coming out of the water, and I've got some flavor bases going, some celery, some onions, some garlic, and now this is where things start to get interesting. So I've got some cauliflower that I blanched a lot, sort of what I'm calling hammering them. So I'm just gonna get a little wine in my pan and a little vinegar, and then we're gonna start to go off the rails with some other crazy flavors. So a little wine, a little sherry vinegar, so we have some exciting acidic flavors. My mouth is watering already. So there we go. Now let's step into my secret flavor weapon pantry. I have some bay leaves. I have some pine nuts and raisins. I have a little honey. Hey, honey. And I'm going to grab some vanilla. This is for something else. So that's not a flavor weapon for right now. I'm feeling sneaky today. So you go over there, vanilla. Hey, honey, I'm going to give this a squeeze of honey. Brr, yeah, look at that. So we have like a lot of cool flavors happening here. Sticky sweet honey. Let's add some raisins. A few golden raisins. And let's get nutty. So I have some pine nuts. A few little pine nuts in there. It's, you know, it's not a party till it's nutty. We already brought the booze, so let's get nutty. Okay, I have my casserole dish, my pan that I'm gonna put my chicken in. I'm gonna snuggle everyone in there. I have a little aromatic bay leaf. And then I'm gonna add my hammered cauliflower. So we get everybody mixed up. And this is gonna be a really great thing to lay my chicken on. We'll snuggle everybody in there. And it's gonna be a really interesting chicken dish. Just because it's chicken does not mean it has to be boring. Okay, so and get everybody in there. Hello, beautiful. It smells so good. That vinegar, the wine, and then you can really smell the sweet honey in there. Beautiful. So I'm gonna nestle my chicken in there. Look, snuggle everybody in so it's like, you know, just like a party. All right, beautiful babies. And I'm gonna put some chicken stock in there to kind of keep everybody, you know, nice and moist. I'm gonna get it into a 350 degree oven. A little hand wash, okay. So, little chicken stock just to keep everything, you know, nice and lubed up. And then things will be saucy later on. That's the way we're rolling today. Nutty, saucy, sweet and sour, all over the place. Okay, so, 
Look at that. So I'm gonna toss these chickens in the oven for 40 minutes all together. 30 minutes covered, and then the last 10 minutes of cooking time, I'm gonna take off the foil to let the skin really crisp up again. All right, here we go. We'll see you. Mmm, delicious, crazy, nutty chicken. It's my funky chicken in about 30 minutes. All right, this smells so good. Look at this, beautiful babies. My chicken that I crusted with coriander and I seared it. Mmm, and then it's sitting in a bed of deliciousness. Some cauliflower that I blanched a lot and some really interesting flavors. So I've got some celery, some onions, and then the interesting part goes into some vinegar, sherry vinegar, a little white wine. Then we would have put a little sweet side with it, some little honey. And then we tossed in some pine nuts and raisins and all that. This is good stuff. Look, it's a veggie side dish, an interesting chicken all in one story. A little chive action, and that looks like a delicious chicken dinner to me. And it doesn't have to be like just chicken. It's, hey, it's chicken. So I'm getting right in there. Oh yeah, baby, the skin's so nice and crispy. I had it in the oven for about 40 minutes, 30 minutes covered, the last 10 minutes uncovered. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's a juicy, funky chicken. It is good stuff. Woo! It's hot too, but man, is that delicious. The cauliflower with all those flavors going on in there. Mm -hmm. 